Hi Virgos, Trishna here. Welcome to your May 2019 reading. What I'm feeling for you is, so in May, I believe you're really having to dig deep within yourself to find a missing piece that was going to catapult you and skyrocket your success. And I feel like you really have been digging deep this past month. And I really feel like you've been patient about it. You haven't been rushed about it. And congrats to you because that is not an easy thing to do. So really, really good job. That's good. And you haven't quite figured out what that missing piece is just yet, but you're really on your way and you're in a really good place. And I think that you will find that pretty soon. You've been doing the work and now it's really just a matter of having it appear to you in the external reality, having it show up in your life, that missing piece. So that's that's really awesome. That's really great. <clears throat> How is the May 2019 going for you is I feel like there are going to be some possibilities that really open up for you. I feel like May is going to be a really strong month for you, a really powerful month is what I'm feeling, and you're going to have a few opportunities, like I would say, show up in your life. And now when there are more than, when there's like more than one opportunity, that can also come with negativity in the sense that when you have so many options, which one do you pick? Which one is right for you? I don't feel like that's going to be a struggle for you this month. I feel like you're going to have a few options and somehow you're not going to have to struggle as to which one you should go with. I feel like either they're all going to be intertwined, so you kind of get <clears throat> the best of all of it, or you're, you know, two of them are going to fall by the wayside and one of them is going to shine out as really the strong one, the right one, and it's going to be a very easy decision and you're going to be very happy about it. Regardless of how these opportunities work out for you, I feel like <clears throat> they're going to lead you to something in another area of your life. So if what we're talking about here today, if this resonates for you in the career spectrum, like you've really been trying to find that missing piece and now there are all these opportunities opening up to you, you know, if that's your career spectrum, then one of those opportunities is going to lead you to maybe finding a person and that's going to tie you to another area of your life, the romantic spectrum. And if this is a person that you get led to, I feel like this is going to be a really, really important special person in your life. Now, that doesn't mean that they're going to be in your life for forever. They could be here, they could be in your life for a day, it could be a connection for a day, it could be a connection for a few months, it could be a connection for a few years. Regardless of how long it's going to be, they're going to be somebody that you remember. They're not going to be somebody that you forget and vice versa. They're always going to remember you. There's going to be some kind of profound connection that you two have on a very, very deep level that is going to be very meaningful and that's very important for your wife. So that's something that's kind of exciting and nice to keep in mind. In terms of the challenge that I feel for you, it's going to be about accepting the good things that are coming into your life because... It can be hard it can be hard to accept when good things are coming into our lives. We question whether or not it's really for us, whether it's here to stay, whether it will really bring us the happiness that we're looking for. There can be fear that comes around good things coming towards us, good things happening to us. So that's really gonna be the challenge, is really accepting that yes, these things can happen for you. You do deserve them. I know it's been a while, like you've been struggling, you've been looking for something good to happen, you've been looking for the result, like the result you've been wanting, and now it's going to come here and it's like, really? Like, for real? Is this really here? <laughs> or am I just imagining it? Am I just seeing it? Is it going to go away? Am I misinterpreting it? It is here. So really try to, try to accept the good that comes into your life. And that's tied into the guidance that I'm feeling for you as well, is that really try to keep as much of a positive mindset as you can because... That's how you harness the opportunities that are here. That's how you harness the gifts that are already here is when you really try to keep that positive mindset and try to focus on it and accept it and you know really ground it. When you really pay attention to it and focus on it, you really ground it and make it a solid, tangible part of your life versus something that could just slip, slip, ugh, slip away. <laughs> What's with my words right now? Tangible. <clears throat> so... That's really the guidance that I'm getting for you. So I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I earned your like and your subscribe. And I will see you in my next video.